this module introduces you to the basic procedures for starting MATLAB in a Windows environment, which you will find in many computer labs on campus. And um, it explains a little bit about the basic desktop environment that you, you will find uh, when you start up MATLAB. Uh, when, for example, you sit in front of a computer and uh, you see a desktop, most likely you will see an icon like this. And that uh, is the MATLAB application, which you can start by simply double-clicking on it. If you don't find that uh, icon, then most likely you can find uh, the in in installed area by going through the Start button and then search through all programs and um, look for where MATLAB is installed. Uh, for example, uh, in this computer, you will find MATLAB there. And you can start it by simply clicking on that. If you don't find it under the program's uh, menu, then perhaps it is not installed, in which case you need to talk to your instructor to find out uh, uh, what can be done. Now, assuming that you are able to start up MATLAB using one of these two methods, you will find that MATLAB opens up a basic uh, window environment, like the one that you see uh, in front of you at present. And this environment consists of three windows. One is called a command window, the other one is called a workspace window, and the third one is called a command history window. Now, this is entirely customizable, so you may not see this particular form on your computer because it depends on how the administrator has installed it. But you can always go back to the, this default view by going to View, Desktop Layout, and then select the default view. And um, the command window is the place where you typically interact with MATLAB, meaning you enter variables, their values, and uh, execute functions and things like that. In the workspace window, you will find that it lists a list of all the variables that you have defined in your workspace. You can think of workspace as a desktop, a cluttered desktop, a physical desktop, I mean, where you have lots of papers spread around. So a workspace will have lots of variables spread around and they will each variable will hold the value. The variable can be a scalar, a vector, a matrix, and we will see in more detail about the uh, various types of variables that we can define. So workspace is basically an area where you whatever you have done, whatever you have defined is stored. And this workspace window makes all those variables available to you in a catalogued fashion. Now you'll also see that there is another folder called the current directory. If you select that, it gives you all the files that are under the current directory. Now the current directory itself is indicated here. You can change the current directory to be anything that you want. Uh, this is a default selection. For example, I can change that to a temporary directory on my computer. So the temp directory becomes the current directory. And if you go and look at the current directory window, you will see that it has updated all the new files under this directory. So let's go back to the workspace view so that we can see the variables that we, had to, uh, we will be defining as we go along. Now the third area is the command history area. And here you will see a history of all the commands that you have typed in the MATLAB command window. And uh, one of the purposes for this one is to recall the previously entered commands and edit it, if you like. So this is the basic structure of the Windows, uh, uh, MATLAB Windows environment. As I said, you can customize it, you can change it. For example, you can go to the View, Desktop Layout, and then give me five panels instead of three panels. Then it gives you the same command window here, the workspace window here, the current directory. So it has split up these into two separate windows, so you can see the workspace and the directory at the same time. And it also has a command history window. In addition, you have the launch pad from which you can launch demos, you can launch helps and things like that. You can in fact connect to a web directly and look at information about MATLAB on the MATLAB uh, 
uh, center. Now you can close these windows if you like and you can resize these windows if you like. So all these functions are available just like within Windows environment. All these are available within MATLAB environment. Um, that gives you a little bit of idea about what the environment is like and what you can do with it. And in the next lessons, we will see how we can create variables and what are the various types of variables, etc.